in the middle of the defence at the back mm. who got the man in the match award in Ibu Kanate yeah. who epitomised everything that we've been talking about. And for me, and I don't know about you, and this is why I'm asking the question, it's a tough game for him to come into in terms of no Virgil van Dijk. Mm. He was probably going to play looking at the strength of that side. And he has to come in and he has to marshal that defence. But what a performance did he put in? Yeah, absolutely incredible. 100%. Like, And again, he was one of the ones early doors in the game. And to be fair to him, when I watch it back, you probably see him making more of those, those last-ditch tackles that I was talking about. And he was probably the saviour more often. Than when, we're, when Liverpool were getting caught at the back, you were thinking, you were crying out for Virgil van Dijk, weren't you? Just to steady the ship, settle things down, marshal the defence and say, don't worry, we've got this. But Canate, after the first 10, 15 minutes, he stepped up and went, I'll be that guy. Don't about it and I think often there have been questions asked of Ibu Kanate mainly around his fitness and can he play a prolonged period yeah. of games for us obviously but there's also been that question when Virgil's not there are you going to be the guy you've got Javel Conte alongside today who's incredibly talented but he's a kid he's still learning on the job essentially and he's done brilliantly but Ibu Kanate to say okay Virgil's not here I need to be the one and to grab that game and grab that defence by the collar and go don't worry about it I'll drag you through incredible and not only that his own performance performance time and time again when he was called upon today to make those last dish tackles to be the guy covering to win the headers honestly it was and I've spoken a lot about Canate and his ceiling like I said I made a comment the other week on the podcast when Joel Matip got injured I think Canate's ceiling is right up there like people talk about Saliba and Gabriel and rightfully so at Arsenal I think Canate if he can get a consistent run of footy is better than both of them his level is so so high it's, it's Virgil van Dijk-esque his level for me the problem is he just doesn't play enough but if he can do do what he does tonight on a consistent, regular basis. Liverpool have got an absolute freak on their hands. Well, he's special. Make no yeah. bones about it. He really is. And as I say, going into that game, you're probably thinking Virgil van Dijk's playing. He comes in. Not only that, I think he captained that defence mm. and he's got the captain alongside him, yeah. which is saying something in of itself because he was the leader. He was the one, two minutes left. He was mm. the one, stay here, Screaming focus, people as well. Screaming Even at everyone, Trent at one taking point, people's yeah. hats off, lashing them into the crowd. <laughs> he did it all. Yeah. He did everything today yeah. and more, Ibu Kanate. But for me, he was brilliant first half. But what really, when he really rose... Yeah was when Martinelli came on, Dan. Mm, yeah. And he was the second man defender and whereas it Trent getting beaten, Conor Bradley, I don't think, did get beaten. Brilliant. But every time he cuts inside, Big Ebu was there, wasn't he? Yeah, it? and that was the moment where he did ever go at Trent because I think once or twice Trent did get... And Trent, listen, he's a freak of a football, he's generational and what he does on the ball is is without question. But once or twice Martinelli had the beating of him and Canati covers round both times and deals with it and that's when he has a go at him and says, you need to do better, you've got to defend better than that. But yeah, Canati just sensing danger sniffing stuff out tracking back being that last guy like I say getting the blocks in there's one really early doors when we're panicking a bit at the back and he's the one sliding across getting in the way of it just honestly like I've again never questioned his ability but I have often wondered, can you be the guy? Virgil van Dijk is so, so often the guy. When he's not there, can you step up? And he's done it tonight, and he's done it incredibly well. And that just bodes so, so well for the future. Yeah, and we're not just comparing Canate to, you know, Virgil van Dijk. We compare him to Joel Matter because we know how yeah. good Joel matter has been for a long time. But 80, 90, 80, 70, 80 minutes into that game, he's striding forward. Mm. He's putting the team on his back. He's getting into their half. He's changing the game state in front of him, seeing what, what his run into the defence can do, which is very massive but it's a partnership with Conza tonight and it's a difficult one because you know you are playing with a young lad um, you've obviously got Joe Gomez on the left who's probably not played with Conza inside of him very often as well so it's a completely new back four mm. and yet the partnership between Conza and Canate there was never any mistakes was there between who goes who stays all that type of stuff because I think it's easy when you play with someone every week but Conza is quite a um, he, he likes to get into you yeah. and push hard and he's, he's a proactive defender mm. I think Karate is a little bit like that but he never messed that up did he? No, Karate is a firefighter by trade isn't he? I think you're right I think Virgil van Dijk's often the one that takes a step back and sort of assesses situations that's how he defends a lot of the time if he has to make a decision something's gone wrong in the build up isn't it with Virgil van Dijk a lot of the time whereas Karate is often the guy to rush out and try and put out fires but you're right I think Quance is very similar so Karate is clearly 
got wind of that situation quite early on and thought I've got to adapt my game quite quickly here and sort of be accustomed to what Joel wants to do alongside. And the same could be said for in possession as well, because I think Quant likes to carry the ball out like you're talking about Canate ends up doing as well. So it's a really interesting dynamic. And even in terms of sides they play on, that's a fascinating one to me because we've seen Quanta do both now. We've only really seen Canati do the right hand side one because that's clearly where he feels more comfortable. So that's an interesting one too. But you're right, I think Quanta deserves a hell of a lot of credit for another very, very strong performance because look at that Arsenal side today yeah they make a couple of changes but they end up with Bakayo Saka you know they've got Odegaard on the pitch they've got Kai Havers yeah, Champions yeah, League winner they've got Martinelli yeah, it's out. absolutely blessed like Joel Quanta has come into the Liverpool team a few occasions this season you look at Wolves Sheffield United Crystal Palace Newcastle for a little bit as well all very good sides in their own right but this was another level up again tonight and him and of course Ibu Kanate have absolutely answered every single question asked of them you said earlier on he's, he's better than my, um, Saliba and Gabriel if he's able to put that run of games together I was looking at that performance tonight from their centre half thinking those two were good yeah, brilliant. Saliba and Gabriel are very very good centre halves but Arsenal fans on the other hand are they sitting there thinking fucking hell that Kwanzaa and Canate are good aren't they because listen they didn't score and we did. Yeah, they're absolutely 100% right. I mean, that again just boils down to a consistency thing. I maintain Ibu Kanate's ceiling, his maximum performance level is higher. Saliba is probably the benchmark for Arsenal, I would say, out of the two of them, is higher than Saliba. Now, that's nothing to take away from Saliba. I think Saliba is a brilliant defender and he showed it at Anfield the other week. He showed it again tonight. Outstanding. But I just think Canate has every single attribute, everything. If you were moulding, we said it about Van Dijk a lot, if you were moulding a central defender, it would look a lot like Ibu Canate. He's yeah. big, he's strong, he's what, powerful, he wins the ball. What were your favourite moments from Canate tonight then? Oh, that's a good one. I think, it's got to be the block, surely. I think the block... Yeah, I think the block is probably that's what comes to mind straight away. But I loved, I absolutely adored when he had a go at Trent. But to come back to your point earlier on about being the captain of that back line, having a go at the actual captain, I love all that. I think that just shows a different side of Ibu Kanati. I can't remember him doing that before and I love that he's often he's done it a little bit tonight by all accounts his interview was quite jovial quite jokey he can be that sort of happy-go-lucky kind of character but he knew tonight that he had to be a different type of Ibu Kanate and he did it and that to me is massively important because yeah it's fine to be one way but when the chips are down and you need a, a different level of performance can you go and do it and he has 